Hello, this is Caravan Salon 2019. This is the 2020 range from Heimer, the S, the Tramp S685, costs from 64,000 euros. Obviously, this one's at a trade fair, it's going to cost a lot more because it's got a bit more stuff on it. This one is 80 over 82,000. And uh, the costs, the additional costs are, well, it's upgraded the engine. This seems to be a, a common thing to see at the trade fair. There you go. And um, 9, 9G Tronic um, automatic, uh, automatic gear. Uh, so that's another 2,690. Mercedes multimedia system. Oh, oh, oh. nearly 2,000. Um, right, so... Um, there, some of the extras uh, one would get if this van were taken. Let's have a look inside. Now, uh, this is a bit unusual in a, a Heimer brand that you've got the seats, the uh, facing seats, and uh, uh, one advantage to a certain extent is this obviously, it's nice to actually look at the person in front of you and uh, rather than maybe sit, sit on these seats uh, rather than round a table so you've got say four people sitting in different places if you've got four people in here uh, table can be more suited as well for the dining experience uh, right let's have a look above here well you know there's plenty of uh, room above the van thanks to there not being an extra bed in here Oh, I didn't give you the measurements. I'll do that when I go out. So remind me. Uh, very light, tall. Oh, the standing height just the same. Isn't the band? Maybe it's the colour scheme. It makes it seem as though there's plenty of room in here. Don't see many of them in motorhome like that. A draw like that, at least not in the Heimer van. So, draw. There's a bin here and there. I don't know. Don't know the point of that. Carter goes doing the same thing. I mean, Heimer, you get two bins. There's you. Get a choice of which bin to use. Okay, so yeah, I, I can give you the details from here. There you go. So length seven three nine two two nine by two nine six. Um, it's got a panoramic uh, window, yeah, I think we saw that. Electric fridge. Oh, here's the important thing. Um, diesel heating. I think diesel. Heating. There's an argument now about about the use of gas. Now, obviously, you've got to heat the van somehow, and even if it's an electric van, you've got to heat it uh, via um, you know some fossil fuels, of gas or diesel or wood or coal or whatever you're going to heat your van with. And um, uh, diesel is it cheaper than gas? Um, well, obviously, it isn't. It isn't. It, by litre, but by it's not not really the way you should be doing it. it should be by, by calorie, uh, how warm it keeps you. I think the general opinion seems to be that diesel is cheaper than using gas. Of course, diesel heaters are more expensive to buy. And if anybody's got any first-hand experience uh, with diesel uh, heating. Um, and particularly as you compare it to gas, then please do uh, uh, let me know.
So put that across there to make a dressing area. There's me. Okay, summer must be ending. I've had to put something over my t-shirt. Today is 3rd of September. 3rd of September 2019, 80 years ago, UK and France entered World War II. Now, yeah, I'm a historian. Anyway, I'm glad to say we've got peace now and we're all friends. Right, anyway, good. Uh, so, uh, there's a walk around this van, which I do find rather attractive. Even though I don't like. Sorry, I mean, it's personal, I'd rather have a widthwise bed than a lengthwise bed. But other than that, that's great. Let's have a look at something else. So I'll take you around the hall actually. I'll have a look at some of the other vans we've got here. Let's we'll have a look at some Mercedes vans. Have a look at the same one with a um, queen bed in the back. This costs 77,605. Seems to have a similar option range. Now I like that more than the other one. See though the the rest those very similar. And this one is 82,750, also with a queen bed. But, 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 it's got an electric bed in the lounge. And it's lost, I think, one of its main features. Of course, you've got, if you want two beds, then that's been understood. But, 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 you've lost the height and the panoramic roof in the um, in the roof yeah, pan skylight in the roof, that's where it normally count And there you see the MLT range, for example. Look, I'll try and get as, under as many of these vans as I can. And we've got some camper vans here as well. This one here is free. So I'll take two. There's now more vans from Heimer on the Mercedes than there is on the Fiat. And I think this makes a lot of sense actually as far as uh, branding is uh, concerned. Okay, so 
Timer Heimer T685S. There it is. Thanks very much for watching. I hope that was of interest. I hope you enjoyed the show. I um, hope you like the van. And um, so, uh, if you did like the if you did like the show, then please do give me a thumbs up. And if uh, you'd like to give me some support on Patreon, there is a link uh, above, around about now. Thank you.